Good afternoon. It's a cool spring day in late April in upstate New York. My name is Barb Malera. I'm a member of the team at Harvesting History, an heirloom horticultural company located in upstate New York. And today is the very first day that we can actually put potatoes in the ground because until today the ground has been so frozen we couldn't get a shovel into the ground to dig a big enough hole. Of all the things that we plant in these gardens, I will tell you that planting potatoes is the most fun. And if you are a gardener who is teaching children to plant, there's probably no better vegetable to start with than potatoes. One of my fondest memories in life is of my own son digging for potatoes on a late December day in a city garden in Baltimore. Children have, get so excited when they're digging through the dirt and they find these big fat tubers nestled in the ground. So if you're thinking about it, I, I heartily encourage you to try planting potatoes this year. To start with, we need a deep, deep hole. And that is what I have begun to dig right here. When planting potatoes, you don't have to plant the whole potato. What you need is a chunk that has at least three, two to three eyes per chunk. Now, this is an eye, that's an eye, that's an eye, that's an eye, that's an eye. So what you can do is you can carve up your potatoes into chunks, but each one has to have two to three eyes per chunk. That leaves, once you do the carving, that leaves exposed flesh. And you need to leave that flesh out in the air to dry and to dry hard. Usually it only takes 24 hours, but if the environment has high humidity, it may take 48 or 72 hours before this flesh is hard enough to be put in the ground. If the flesh is fresh, then the potato most likely will rot. So remember, when you're planting chunks, make sure that the flesh is hard, hard dried, before you put the chunk in the ground. Okay, as you can see, I've put a chunk of potato into the bottom of my hole. It, don't, it doesn't matter whether or not all the eyes are up the eyes will find their way to the surface without you helping them. So don't panic if some of the eyes are on the bottom of the chunk. Just put the potato in the very bottom of your hole. This hole is between 15 and 18 inches deep. And then what you wanna do is cover the potato chunk with about three to four inches of soil. That will still leave you quite a bit of the hole to fill and what you're going to do is wait for the leaves of the potato plant to come through the surface of this soil and then you're going to cover those leaves with more soil and you're going to continue to cover the leaves to bury the leaves until you have reached until you have fully filled the hole with soil by that time, you will have about 12 to 15 inches of stem that has been buried in the soil. Remember, potatoes grow along the stem of the plant. So the more of the stem you have buried, the more potatoes you are going to get. Make sure that you do not bury your potatoes in a bed that's rich in compost. Potatoes do not like rich soil. Contrary to the beliefs of many plant people, potatoes thrive in a poorer soil. So don't, comp don't compost where you're going to plant your potatoes and don't fertilize. Just put them in the soil and let them do their thing. One final thought. I would encourage you to go back to our website, which is www.harvesting-history.com and take a look at our potato collection because we have one of the most extensive heirloom potato collections in the country.
there are some great, great potatoes that you can't get in the grocery store that you can get if you grow them in your own garden. The potato that we grew today has a beautiful purple skin and the inside is this creamy white color. It's called Purple Viking. We also have a purple purple, purple flesh, purple skinned called Purple Majesty and many, many other different colors and different flavors. We also have a good collection of fingerlings as opposed to your standard potato. So once again, I encourage you, visit our website, www.harvesting-history.com. Bye.